Hey everybody, this lesson is uh, converting units of capacity. So don't forget all your lessons can be found at MrMathLog.com. So if we go to that site right there, I've already done that. So there's MrMathLog.com. So uh, when you go to that, it's going to look like this. And then you got to click the sixth grade link right there. So you can see I'm getting ready to load it right down below lesson 6.1. So it'll go right down below that. All right. So here's our common core strand for our most awesome teachers. And our question here is how can we use uh, ratio reasoning to convert from one unit of capacity to another. So capacity, you guys, measures the amount of that a container can hold, so how much liquid it can hold when it's filled. So in the customary measurement system, we have, um, we have uh, units of capacity that are in fluid ounces, cups, pints, quarts, and gallons. Okay, so we can convert uh, between units by multiplying by uh, the given uh, appropriate, whichever one we're doing, conversion factor. Let's try one here. So Margaret filled 25 quarts of milk from her dairy cow. How many uh, gallons is this? Okay, so we got to choose the conversion factor. Okay, so here's the conversion factor right here. So 8 fluid ounces equals 1 cup, not this one. Two cups equals one pint. Nope. Two pints equals one quart. Four. We want quarts and gallons. So we want four quarts and one gallon right there. So when we do that, we're going to go ahead and use the ratio of one gallon to quarts to four quarts. Now notice quarts are on bottom. That way when I, I multiply with 25 quarts, this quarts on top, this is going to be 25 over 1. It's going to cancel out with the 4 quarts on the bottom right here. We want the quarts to cancel out, so we're left with just plain old gallons because it's asking how many gallons is 25 quarts, okay? So we're going to multiply 25 quarts by the conversion factor, 1 gallon to 4 quarts right there, and then see if a quarts are on bottom, they're going to cancel with those quarts on top, and so we're left with 25 fourths, and then 4 goes into 25 6 times, 6 times 4 is 24, so you have 1 left over, so we have 6 and 1 4 gallons and and since there's four quarts in a gallon the fractional part of the answer can be renamed using the smaller units remember four quarts equals one gallon so we have one-fourth of a gallon that means there's going to be six gallons in that one quart left over here's one-fourth of a quart right there okay all right, so Margaret filled uh, six gallons and one quart of milk. Okay, so how many pints of milk did Margaret fill? Okay, so what we got to do now is find she had 25 quarts, so we got to find the conversion factor for quarts and pints. Okay, so quarts and pints is right here. Two pints equals one quart right there. Okay, so notice we're going to do two pints over one quart. Again, we don't want the quarts involved. We want just the pints left over. So we'll multiply 25 quarts times two pints for one quart. Okay, let's change 25 quarts to 25 over one. Then the quarts cancel. We're left at 25 times two or 50 pints. So Margaret filled 50 pints of milk. All right, so metric system, you guys. And the metric system slick. So we can use a similar process. Uh, did I miss that? There's two S's to process right there. Sorry about that. So let me put that S in there. So um, uh, let me copy that just in case. Okay. And then so 1,000 milliliters equals 1,000 liter, one liter right here. 10 centiliters equals one liter, tongue twister. 10 deciliters equals one liter. So, so if there's one liter, then there's 10 of these. There's 10 times 10 or 100. There's 100 times 10 or or that many milliliters right there. So we just multiply by 10 on those when we go to the right and divide by 10 when we go to the left. Here's an example. So a container has a capacity of 1.7 liters. So there's two questions. What's the capacity in deciliters and what's the capacity in milliliters? So the first question we're going to answer using the conversion factor from liters to deciliters. Okay, so let's go ahead and choose the conversion factor. So so we want to go from liters to deciliters. So here we go. So deciliters, there's uh, one deciliter equals 10 uh, liters right there. So, so we're going to go ahead and multiply this by one deciliter for 10 liters. Okay, notice we want the liters to be on the bottom. That way it cancels out with this liters on top. And we'll be left with the deciliters, the D-A-L right there. So let's multiply 1.7 liters. Uh, times uh, one deciliter for 10 liters right there. And then notice these liters cancel. And when those cancel, we're left with deciliters. Okay, so 1.7 divided by 10 is like moving the decimal one place to the left. 
when we divide by 10, we move it over here. So it's 0.17 or 0.17 deciliters. So 1.7 liters is equivalent to 0.17 deciliters, okay? And then another way, we're going to use the powers of 10. So remember, when we go to the right, we multiply by 10. When we go to the left, we, um, uh, we divide by 10. So 1.7 liters, we're going to change that to milliliters. So since that's three places to the right, we're just going to move that decimal place three places to the right. One, two, three. So that's going to add a couple of zeros in there. And we get 1,700 milliliters right there. Okay. So explain why we can't, we can't convert between units in the customary system by moving the decimal place uh, left and right. Well, the customary system, uh, not like uh, the metric system, uh, they're not units of 10 um, like the metric systems are, so we can't do that. All right, you guys, I hope that makes sense, and take care. hope you're having a great year.